Okay, so I'm sitting here with Gabriela from La Galleria. Nice um, to meet you. We're in Orchard Park. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, I don't even know. I've been here before, but I'm not sure if you were there at that wedding. I uh, so It's possible. <laughs> I've been here a long time. So, so, so maybe we've met before. We don't know. Yeah, I've shot you a wedding. It's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful space. If you could just kind of describe of what you do here and yeah. what the venue looks like. Absolutely. So we have two rooms here at La Galleria. They're both very recently renovated. We renovated throughout the last two years. So we have the loft room. That's the larger of the two spaces, and that seats up to 250 guests. Both rooms are very rustic, boutique style, very warm. Um, the other room is the Elmwood room, and that seats up to 150 guests. Both rooms have outside patios and areas to get married for your ceremony. It's all very separate. Um, and then some couples do combine both of the spaces together for one large event. So yeah, so it's, uh, you already mentioned to me kind of that it's more common that it's the entire space mm -hmm. that people use. And, but if there's like a smaller wedding, maybe off season, you also offer that for smaller groups, right? So it really depends on the couple. They really get their choice because we customize each package. So some couples just really need the one space. They might just need the loft or just need the Elmwood room. And then a lot of couples, they decide they want to use the Elmwood room for cocktails and hors d'oeuvres and maybe the other room for dinner and dancing. And we let them kind of break up their event however they like. This space used to be just a family estate, right? Yeah. And then just tell me how that was developed into a wedding venue. There's a lot of history here and a lot of love here. So this used to be the Carducci family estate. Then they decided that they love Northern Italian cooking. That's where the Carducci family is from. So they made it into a Northern Italian restaurant. Um, and then everybody was wanting to have events here. So slowly, slowly, we became an event center. And in 2000, we decided no more restaurant. We're just going to be doing weddings and special occasions. And that's what we do now. Very cool. All right, and then you um, already um, told me that you renovated about two years. And then you added a lot of stuff. And you're still adding things every year. Uh, yes. Apparently, just give me an idea like of the ceremony, different ceremony sites you have outside, what you have planned for the um, property. Yeah. Absolutely. So every year we do a renovation. So the last two years, there's been a lot of them. But just last month, we redid our bridal suite. So it's all, it's larger, it's vintage, there's a whole makeup area. That was kind of our project last month. Right now, we're doing some outside gardening and patio area remodel. Um, but so both ceremony spaces have been redone very recently. Both have very rustic large barn doors. So you can choose to get married in front of the you know, rustic barn door if you want that kind of look. Or there's the ceremony gazebo area that's very traditional. There's a lot of areas on the property to take pictures. So in the loft space, there's a really cute little teepee in the woods if you wanted to do that. Um, or there's the more traditional spaces as well. Mm -hmm. And then we have a lot of Beautiful brick here and everything. Mm -hmm. Can you just describe, is there anything, what, how you recommend typically to um, decorate the space? Uh, or do you provide anything if couples want that? What's, how does that work? Yeah, absolutely, great question. So our venue itself is very warm and very rustic and we have a lot of our traditional decor already here. So you're more than welcome to use that. There's a lot of greenery. Um, there's, we give out lanterns. So if you want to use like a lantern for your centerpiece, something like that, absolutely. Or a lot of couples come in with a theme. We have a Halloween wedding coming up. They want to do those kind of decorations. It's totally up to the couple. Mm -hmm. We allow anything to come in. And then it's very common, you said, that people get ready here. You have two different rooms for that. Mm -hmm. And then that they are here pretty much for everything, like the entire process, right? Yes. So we try to make it a one-stop shop. So you come here, you book your venue, and you really booked a lot of things. We help you find other vendors if you'd like. We don't mandate that you use any specific vendor, but um, we have a list of our preferred people who are here all the time. They know our space. They know how we work. And then throughout that whole process, we help you plan. And then that day, particularly, you come usually early afternoon. Brides and grooms start getting ready upstairs in our bridal suites. We have champagne up there for them and sweets and candies and all that. And then it's time for the ceremony. Mm -hmm. We do the ceremony. And then it's time for dinner and dancing. It's time for all the fun. And then let's talk about food as the last question. How does that, that typically work? Is it more in-house? Is there sometimes catering? Good question. So we do all of our catering in-house. We have a scratch kitchen. Everything is made here. Um, we have a really unusual menu in that this is just considered our best list of suggestions. So there are people who wanted a buffalo-themed wedding with beef on whack and chicken wings. And we're, ha we're happy to make a brand new menu for a couple if they want something specific. Or you can choose off our list of options. We have a lot of different we have late night food stations, mm -hmm. so some people, after having a full dinner, you've danced, you've had a couple drinks, you want a taco, we do that kind of stuff too. Cool. 
Yeah. Awesome. Anything else we didn't talk about that we should talk about? I don't know. There's so much to learn, but I think that's <laughs> enough information for now. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Anytime.